y'all, how you doing? It's Papa Bear here, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Epic Adventures. So today, I'll be talking about a tool that I've used uh, multiple times during my day hikes where I eat uh, food out on the trail or during backpacking evolutions. I even used it uh, for my car camping trip with my wife. And my wife and son liked the tool so much because I only had two at the time that I went out and bought me a third tool. All right. And the tools I'll be talking about are from two different companies, but pretty much they're the same with slight difference. So I'll be talking about the multi-tool sporks, okay? And for anyone who knows about sporks, um, they're pretty, pretty good tools. Yeah, granted, some people make fun of it. I know when I was growing up, I actually made fun of sporks, but now that I'm older and wiser and I can see the multi-purpose that they bring to the table because... In a backpacking community, when you do through hikes or you travel, which I travel a lot, so I bring a lot of my backpacking stuff with me when I travel because I never know if I may end up in a cruddy hotel, which I have done in the past, and all I've done is just sleep in, in my sleeping bag um, and my air mattress. But when you pack back a lot, you, you want to be able to travel with fewer items that are, that are able to have multiple functions. And these multi-tool sports have that capability. Granted, I may not use everything that this has to offer, but I have the option to use it. So we're gonna dive down, get deep, talk about both sports, talk about the similarities and their difference, and I hope you guys can learn something from this. All right, let me turn the camera around and get this set up. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's start cracking on these tools. All right, so we talked about two tools from two different companies. This one is from CRKT, from CRKT.com, which is the Columbia River Knife and Tool Company. And the one on the left is from USTBrands.com, which is the Ultimate Survivor Gear. All right, as I said, they're both multi-sports. They have the capability of doing multiple things. So to make this a lot easier to explain, I'm gonna talk about each tool one at a time. So we're gonna start off with the CRKT tool. As you can see, based on what it said, is the Eat and Tool, all right? It's designed by Li Hong Hang. All right, I'm gonna put the name down below because I'm bad with, you know, foreign names. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to get more educated in the future. And it weighs 1.5 ounces. That's great in regards to, you know, doing lightweight treks or ultralight treks, you know, or you're just trying to minimize your weight and you're not trying to really go ultralight. It's four inches long. The blade finish is a bead blast. The blade still is 3CR13. Blade thickness is 1.5 millimeters. This lovely tool is outfitted with the spoon fork combination, which is right here. You know what I'm saying? You can dig in and grab your, your meat with the fork. And at the same time, if you got some cereal, you can scoop it up and enjoy your cereal with that milk. You're looking at the flat screwdriver portion, which is right here. Look at, look how thin that blade is. It's thinner than a 1.5 millimeter blade. You're looking at three different sides for the hexagon tool, six, eight, and 10. This piece right here is for the carabiner. I don't use the carabiner because I keep this in my pot. And then you got yourself a can opener, which is, excuse me, not a can opener, a bottle opener, which is right here, okay? Um, so far from using this tool, I haven't had any issues. Um, do keep in mind that um, with this particular tool, you don't want to try and stir hot items that come past this line right here because you will burn yourself because when i stir i stir right here i keep my fingers right here and i stir and i stir very slowly and very uh carefully okay now you guys see this big hole right here um the way that it was meant to be designed to use is you put your finger in and you scoop and you eat i don't like that however i do like the fact that you can put your fingers in your one finger in like so and you can use it as a mini shank if some reason you're eating at night and an animal comes out of nowhere and you gotta defend yourself, you can stab the neck with this, okay? Not trying to be gruesome, but you know, uh, survival's number one, <clears throat> okay? And it's made from a tool and knife company. So one would think that you can probably use this, excuse me, one would think that you can probably use this as a some type of uh, weapon or knife, okay? So, pretty much that's it. It feels great, um, just so you understand, uh, of how often I use this. Here's the other one that my buddy gave me. You can tell that it's been, you know, used. It's a little worn out. You know, this is the one I primarily use. 
and the logo's, you know, it's fading because I'm always using it and cleaning it. You know, I like to keep my tools clean. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to talk about the other tool. We have the Ultimate Survival Gear tool. There's no special name for this one. They just call it a Spork Multi-Tool. All right. <clears throat> Compared to the Columbia River Knife Tool, this Multi-Tool Spork weighs 1.2 ounces. It is 4 inches long, 2.1 inches wide, and 0.6 inches thick. It's made out of stainless steel. And it is outfit with the spork, same as the other tool. It has the, excuse me, flat screwdriver. Not as, not as thin as the CRKT, but it's thin enough. <clears throat> we have the three hexagons. On the website, they don't talk about the different sizes, so I can only speculate that it's six, eight, and 10. Um, <clears throat> and we have a <clears throat> bottle opener, excuse me, wrong one bottle opener which is right here so try to put your fingers to this to have some type of shank won't won't work okay so we have the bottle opener now right here compared to the CRKT one the Eden tool you have a can regular can opener okay and I wish I had a can here that I can demonstrate opening with but I don't so uh, if I ever get a chance to do that I will and I will follow up on you know, actually doing this or demonstrate it on one of my camping videos, you know, backpacking trips. So that way you guys can actually see it. Um, <clears throat> this hole right here is for the carabiner. Now, again, just like the first one I showed you, when you stir your food, you don't want to come past this line up here. You don't want to come up. You don't want to go past this tool, the hexagon hole, because you're going to burn yourself. So when I stir, I stir like this. Um, also, another thing is... Um, I don't use the carabiner because I think the carabiner is in the wrong spot. If anything, it should have been more over here. So that way, this stays out of the way of the blade of the can opener. Um, <clears throat> um, I have not had a chance to use this tool yet. But what I can say is if it's just like this one right here, then I should be good to go and doing exactly what I need to do, like eat or something like that. Um, which I am actually going to pour me some cereal and I'm going to eat small small bowl of cereal just to show you how it looks as you're eating with it all right so now what would be the difference with both tools they're pretty much the same this one has the can opener this one has the circle in the middle so you can grip it you're looking at a possible weapon here and if you're skillful you probably could use this also as a bottle opener but you know you have to have the, the skill and capability to know how to do that but besides that What's unique about the two? If I had the option, I would get this over this. Why? Why would I do that? Why would I get this over this? Well, here's the answer. This bad boy right here costs $19.99 online. So approximately $20. <clears throat> this bad boy right here costs $3.99 online. And I got it at Walmart for $2.92. Same tool. Metal might be different or is different. Um, one or more capabilities with the tool. But this one, excuse me, sorry for knocking the camera. This one is cheaper. So if this boom was longer, I could understand maybe paying the $20 because it's titanium, it's lightweight. <clears throat> down there indestructible, but with it being four inches, I, I see it very difficult to bend this tool because of the steel. Okay, and push gun yourself, you can also use this as a knife as well, as a little shank if someone tries to attach it. So that really doesn't, doesn't matter to me. To me, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I am actually going to pour me some cereal and I'm going to eat from both spoons so you guys can see how well they work, okay? Um, again, like I said, I'm not being paid by the company, so I'm giving you my honest opinion about what I, what I see, what I like. Overall, I like both these spoons. It's the reason why I got three of them, three of them, because they do the job for me. I also have some longer spoons for a different you know, pot when it comes time to cooking, but for right now, I'm actually good with these, okay? Oh, and let me show you something real quick. Stand by, let me show you something. That's how far the spoon goes in. So when I'm cooking, there's no way 
to this bad boy to go in so deep that I'm gonna burn myself. Another thing I like about it is because when I'm not using it, I can pretty much do it just like that. You know what I'm saying? And I can hold it while it's cooking. That's if the top's off. Other than that, it's good to go. Same thing for this one. I can also do it like that for that one. All right, y'all. So I got me here some uh, Apple Jacks. Love Apple Jacks. Favorite cereal growing up. So what I have here first is the worn out uh, CRKT tool. All right. And I'm going to show you um, the two ways you can actually eat it. One way I prefer and the other way is what they talked about. All right. So here's the way I prefer. Holding the end. And enjoy me some nice cereal. Works just like any other spoon. Okay. Now the second way that they talk about is holding it like this or holding it like this. I don't like this method because your knuckles are close to your mouth and you're more likely to punch yourself in the mouth not paying attention bite your knuckles or you get the dirt in your mouth which you don't want to do I mean granted you're going to be using hand sanitizer but you know you want to try to limit the amount of dirt that you get in your mouth and on your food alright that was the CRK next one I'm going to be using it's from the ultimate survival gear. Okay. And again, I'm using my preferred method, which is honestly the only way to do it. Grab it. Go to town. That's some good cereal, I'll tell you what. Now, just so you know, when I stir, stir just like that. Very slowly and carefully. I've also learned when I stir slow in your backpacking, you pay attention more to the food as it's being cooked. Mm. Very delicious. Oh, this is why we get a spoon. So as you can tell, the spoons work great. They do the job that they're intended to do. Still eating. Pardon me as I finish up this cereal. And so, for me, either spoons work. It all depends if you want this can opener part right here, which is a good thing because I actually carry a can opener with me just in case. But having this spoon eliminates me having a can opener. And I can get that can opener to my son because my wife has one, I believe. Yeah, she does. So things are getting passed down accordingly. So, so with that being said, excuse me, I'm sorry. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to a wonderful another episode of Epic Adventures. I'm going to continue to eat this lovely cereal and also eat the dinner that my wife made me because she's looking at me funny like, you better eat my food. And I'm like, I'm going to eat your food, baby. I just got to do this thing for the camera. So the things I do for you guys, I put my life on the line so my wife could possibly kill me. She looks wonderful today, by the way. And so thank you for tuning in to another episode of Epic Adventures. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave any and every comments down below. And as always, I can't wait to see you guys outdoors. Hey, how's Julian doing with his homework? I gotta go check up on him. All right, I'll talk to you again later. Out.